Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly. Worldly distractions cannot mildly sway his thoughts of Allah and Judgment Day. Righteous is he, righteous is he, who bows to one he cannot see. Whose deeds do not spring without Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to our show, The Excellence of Manners. In this program, we are discussing the manners that the Muslimin are supposed to have. And to attain these uh, perfect manners, to have these perfect manners in order that we reach the highest level of paradise through something simple and something uh, natural to us all. Uh, it is narrated that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu when he was in the cave uh, and the first revelation came to him uh, through Jibreel, he was scared and after he ran out of the cave, he went to his wife Khadija and he told her what happened and she said, by Allah, Allah will not disgrace you and she mentioned the characteristics that the, and the manners and the characteristics that the Prophet had and that's why he, Allah would not disgrace him. And one of the main characteristics she mentioned in manners is family ties. That uh, the Prophet ﷺ used to always uh, maintain family ties. So this is a very important manner to have and it's a very um, beloved manner uh, uh, to Allah. So this is what we're going to be discussing today, family ties with our dear guest, Sheikh Saeed Al-Qadi, that we have had on the program. And he is the Sheikh from uh, London. Sheikh Saeed, welcome back to the show. Uh, let us begin by talking about the importance of this concept of tying or maintaining family ties. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. All praises due to Allah alone. We praise Him. We thank Him. We seek His guidance and His forgiveness. We repent to Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead. None can mislead Him. And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide Him. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship at Allah and I bear a witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his last messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tying the bonds of kinship tying the bonds of kinship it is one of the most beloved actions to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the most beloved actions to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this action it is better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than offering the voluntary prayer and the and offering the voluntary charity and offering the voluntary fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this action so much. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ala ukhbirukum bi afdala min darajati siyami wa salati wa sadaqa. And the hadith is sound hadith. He sallam said, Shall I tell you something which is far better than the salat and the prayer and the fasting and the charity? The ulama said he, me, he meant the voluntary actions of those three, uh, three, three, three deeds. So an action which is better, far better than the voluntary salah, the voluntary prayer, the voluntary uh, charity and the voluntary fast. The Sahaba said, Rasulullah, yes, tell us, what is it? He وسلم, replied, it is time or it is to have a good relationship with your, with people. To have a good relationship with people. Salahu that al-bayn. Salahu that al-bayn. And the first people that you need to have a perfect relationship with them are your family and your relatives. So your family and your relatives. Our best manners mm. should actually be towards these to, people. To, towards them. Towards them. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed a right for them upon you. It is their right to be nice towards them. To be kind towards them. It is their right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said, 
وَآتِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهُ and give the relative his due, his right. His right to be kind towards him, to be nice towards him, to treat him well. Allah Ta'ala said as well, وَاعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا and worship Allah and don't associate anything in his worship. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا and be kind towards your parents. وَبِذِ الْقُرْبَى and also be kind towards your relatives. And Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also in the other verse said إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُ بِالْعَدْلِ وَالْإِحْسَانِ Indeed Allah Ta'ala enjoins kindness and justice. وَإِتَاءِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى Allah Ta'ala is, Allah Ta'ala is commanding you. Allah Ta'ala commands you to tie the bones of kinship. To give your relatives their right. وَإِتَاءِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى uh, we have these, this is an action, mm. uh, of ma- a manner that involves action. Mm. How about the, the action of the heart, which is iman? Is there a link between belief in Allah and the iman yes. and uh, this action of time? Z- Zakallah, a very good question. Because this action is sometimes a bit hard uh, on us because uh, you might find your relatives are cutting you off, are severing the relationship with you. Uh, difficult to deal with and it is a sign of believing in Allah and the hereafter to overcome all those difficulties and all these uh, those, uh, uh, obstacles and you go to them and you tie the bones of kinship with them and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir whoever, whoever, whosoever believes in Allah and in the hereafter then let him honor his guest and whoever believes in Allah and the hereafter, then let him tie the bones of kinship. Allah. So if we have true faith mm-hmm. and iman, we should uh, tie these family ties, no, no matter the state Definitely of relationship not. we yes. have with our yes. families. Yes. If you have iman in your heart, you will do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah. You want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you'll go to them and you'll have a good relationship with them. Because of the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, now we want to know the, the benefits <coughs> and the reward, <laughs> inshallah, Jannah. <laughs> inshallah ta'ala. Uh, is, is this rewardable by Jannah? You mean uh, tying the bonds of kinship? Tying the bonds of kinship. It will not uh, uh, enter Jannah. It will, it will admit to Jannah with the greatest of ease. Allah. You, will not only, you will not only enter Jannah, you will enter Jannah with the greatest of ease. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as uh, in Musanad Ahmad, he said, Ayyuhan nas, O people, afshu salam, spread salam, wa at'imu ta'am, and feed the needy, wa silu al-arham, and tie the bones of kinship, wa sallu bil layli wa nasi niyam, and pray at night while people are asleep. Tadukhulu al-jannata bi salam, you shall enter the jannah, the paradise, with the greatest of ease. Allah, this is a very famous uh, Subhanallah In another narration A man Which is a Muslim A man came and said Ya Rasulullah Tell me about an action If I practice That action will distance me from the hellfire It will keep me away from the hellfire And it will get me closer to Jannah And Nabi Sallallahu said You worship Allah Ta'ala alone Worship Allah Ta'ala alone Ta'abud Allah Ta'abud Allah La tushrik bi shay'a وَتُقِيمُ الصَّلَةِ And establish the prayer. Establish the prayer. وَتُؤْتِ الزَّكَاةِ And give out your zakah. And then he said, وَتَصِّلُ رَحِيمَكَ And tie the bones of kinship. And the hadith sahih Muslim. Allah Akbar. If you want Jannah, make sure that you, you always uh, maintain the bones of kinship. It's almost so important that it's, it's almost like a pillar. It, it, almost, almost like a pillar because yeah, it was mentioned like with them. It's mentioned Allah. with the pillars. It's almost like a... Almost like a pillar. No, it's very, uh, very important. No. And subhanAllah, we, we like to know the, the rewards of things to motivate us. And this is how Allah <laughs> motivates us in the Quran by telling us the rewards of, mm. of things uh, in the hereafter. Are there rewards for this kind of practice, practicing the family ties in this world? In this life? In this life. There is a reward. Oh, there are rewards. There are a lot of rewards. Uh, first of all, if you tie the bonds of kinship, 
you will be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala will help you, will protect you, will, will guide you. You will be basically linked with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the uh, sound hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ الْخَلْقُ When Allah ta'ala created the man, the, the, the mankind, the, the people, uh, قامت الرحم فتعلقت بالعرش. The kin suspends from the throne. And the kin said, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from being severed. Oh Allah, I seek refuge with you of being cut off. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the kin, Would you be pleased if I keep good connection with those who keeps with those who keep good connection with you? Are you going to be pleased if I keep good connection with those who keep good uh, connection with you? Mm-hmm. And I will sever and I will cut off those who cut you off. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep good link with you if you tie the bones of kinship. This is the first reward. Subhan. The second reward in this life, you will have your age prolonged. Allah Subhanallah. Allah. You will have your age increased. Allah ta'ala will increase your age. Furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expand your provision. Allah, Allah. Allah ta'ala will, will have your provision expanded. In the hadith, in the sound hadith, Sahih Bukhari, Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man sarrahu an yubsata lahu fi rizqi. Whoever desires for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to multiply his provision and to prolong his age, then let him tie the bones of kinship. Allahu Akbar. And with that, we are going to take a short break. Inshallah ta'ala. And please stay tuned, and we'll be back with the excellence of manners. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers the Lord. Allah the Most High and Merciful says, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and fair preaching. Do you want to join Huda in calling to Allah? Do you want to spread the message like the prophets did? Do you want to share in the blessings and rewards? Why not support Huda towards these noble aims? Why not sponsor a program of your choice? If you would like to help Huda in spreading the correct message of Islam, Please send an email to support at huda.tv or call plus two zero one four three two seven one double seven one for more details or fax plus two zero two three eight triple five two five one. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to our program, The Excellence of Manners. I'm your host, Muhammad Mamdouh, with Sheikh Saeed Al Qadi. Sheikh, welcome back. Yeah, Before the break, we were discussing yeah. the family ties and the reward of family ties maintaining family ties in this life and you mentioned three that are it's prolonged life and (laughs) uh, expanding your provisions and and you will have a connection with Allah Allah subhanahu wa wa ta'ala are there any more uh, rewards Uh, furthermore another reward that those um, those uh, rewards you will have them inshallah ta'ala in this life before the hereafter there is no there is no action that you can do. Uh, or uh, let me make it this way. Many, many actions that you, that you might do in this life, you may not see their, their fruits and their reward until the hereafter. Yes? But this action, tying the bows of kinship, you will see its reward immediately in this life. No. You will see it in this life before the hereafter. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, ما من أعجل الطاعة ثوابا صلة الرحم هذا حديث ساوند حديث أعجل الطاعة ثوابا صلة الرحم the quickest deed that you will see its fruit its rewards in this life before the hereafter is tying the bones of kinship and then he gave an example he said 
And you might see, وَإِنَّ الْقَوْمَ لَيَكُونُ فَجَرَ You might see a family of rebellious. You might see a family of uh, bad members. Whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has expanded their wealth. Allah ta'ala has increased their wealth. Allah ta'ala has increased their children. Why? Because they tie the bones of their kishif. Allah, like, even if they are evil doers, They are evil, Allah Ta'ala has given them <laughs> because of, uh, of tying the bones of kishif. And this is, something, so we can, this is something we can practice and see the reward right away. Right away, subhanAllah. And we don't have to wait till the end, subhanAllah. Uh, subhanAllah uh, another way Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, of course, uh, motivates us mm. is uh, one is telling us the reward and the other side is telling us the punishment, nah, to fear the punishment. The punishment yeah. What is the punishment for the one who does not uh, maintain family ties with his? Subhanallah, family? it is quite uh, actually. Um, uh, if you think about them, the those those uh, punishments. Uh, the first one is that you will be disconnected from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And think of it. Think of this. Ponder on this. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will not support you. Will not help you. You walk on the earth. You're going to work, you're going to your uh, business, doing everything, doing your trade, doing this. Allah Ta'ala will not help you, will not protect you, will not give you blessing. Allah Ta'ala will not give you uh, any barakah, any uh, guidance in this life. Because Allah Ta'ala, because you are, you are cutting the, 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 you are cutting off the bones of kinship. He, Allah Ta'ala will disconnect you. Because we have in the hadith, Allah Ta'ala said to the kin, would you be pleased if I cut off those who, Sever you, those who cut you off. So Ta'ala will cut you off. And this is the worst, the worst uh, punishment. You won't have his rahmah, you won't have his blessing, you won't have his mercy. Allah Akbar. Uh, the other, uh, the second punishment, you, are, you will be liable, if you, cut, if you cut the bones of kinship, you will be liable for Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala to accelerate your punishment in this life. The opposite. The opposite. The opposite. Yeah, the opposite. Of the, the, the <laughs> uh, in the hadith, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Ma min dhambin, there is no sin. Ajdaru an yu'ajjil Allah li sahibihi al-'uqubah fi al-dunya ma'a ma yadakhiruhu lahu fi al-akhirah." There is no sin that deserves. Uh, that, uh, there is no sin that its committer deserves for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to accelerate. His punishment, to hasten his punishment in this life before the hereafter. Like oppression and cutting or severing the bones of kinship. Those two actions you will deserve from Allah Ta'ala to hasten his punishment upon you. In this life. In this life. In this life. Now. And now of course we want to ask about the hereafter. And there's a hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, the one who severs ties with his family and kinship, Mm-hmm. It will enter hell, uh, or <laughs> will not enter heaven. heaven Does this no, mean no. that they will never enter heaven? You refer to the hadith, لا يدخل جنة قاطع. Yes. Um, uh, the hadith, the sound hadith, is mentioned in Al-Bukhari, uh, that the one who cuts off the ties of, uh, who cuts off the ties of kinship will not enter Jannah. It's a sound hadith. However, the mean of the hadith, uh, the ulama have differed upon it. Some said that it means that the person who, uh, who, who uh, the person, the person who cuts off the ties of kinship, will not enter Jannah immediately. He will be delayed in entering Jannah. He will not enter Jannah with those who will enter at the beginning. So layat khujan taqata means he will not enter Jannah at the okay. beginning. He will be delayed. He will be punished. Then he will probably enter Jannah. The second opinion, this opinion is of uh, Yaman Nawi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. Yaman Nawi said this opinion. The second opinion of, as well, some of the ulama, they said that uh, the hadith means that uh, the person who claims that cutting and severing the bones of kinship is lawful, is halal. Okay, so he makes something which is unlawful, lawful. Okay. Yeah, th- then that person will not enter Jannah. No. It's only referring to that type of person. That type of people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> the other question I have written down here mm. uh, can we assume, or is this a correct assumption to mm. say that severing the family ties is a sign that you are creating mischief or evil in that 
in the land. In the land. No, is it, is, it is. It is. It is. It is. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, when He described the uh, rebellious in the Quran, what did He say? وَمَا يُضِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not mislead unless those who are rebellious. Allah ta'ala will not mislead except those who are rebellious. Then Allah ta'ala is describing their attributes and their qualities. He said, الَّذِينَ يَنْقُضُونَ عَهْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِيثَاقِهِ those who break Allah's covenant, those who break the covenant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after ratifying them. مِنْ بَعْدِ مِثَاقِهِ وَيَقْطَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُوصَلْ And they cut and they sever those actions or those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded to be joined, like the, the, the ties of kinship. وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And they make mischief on earth. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ Indeed, they are the losers. The losers. So, the, the person who cut off the uh, bones of kinship, he's from the losers. And this is a good gauge for us to see mm -hmm. if we're headed in the wrong direction no. and, and uh, mischief in yes. the land. Yeah. If we're cutting off the... If, if you look at this matter, uh, mischief in the land, you will find is mentioned with Salat al-Rahim many things. With tying the, uh, tying the bones of kinship in many, many uh, two or three verses in the Quran. No. Uh, I want to come now to uh, mm -hmm. a, a very important aspect of tying um, family ties or mm -hmm. maintaining family ties and it's something that almost everyone goes through. Uh, so people, it's natural to maintain family ties with your close family and the people that are mm -hmm. nice to you. But we have also people in our family that they cut off the ties with us. Mm -hmm. uh, they might not be Muslim, they might just be, uh, they, it could be Muslim or non-Muslim, it no, could be no. all kinds of family structure that we have nowadays, and it could be from their side. that they're. Uh -huh. How do we deal from our side no. with somebody that <coughs> acts like this towards us, from our family? Very good question, Zakallah khair. Uh, first of all, let's define who is the person who ties the bonds of kinship. Let's define that first. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَيْسَ الْوَاصِلُ بِالْمُكَافِئِ لَيْسَ الْوَاصِلُ بِالْمُكَاثِئِ The one who ties the bonds of kinship is not the one who reciprocates in doing good. Is not the one who gives in return in doing good. Is not the one who responds in doing good. He is the one who ties the bonds of kinship, who insists and persists in tying the bonds of kinship, although some of his relatives are trying to cut him off, wow. are trying to sever, to sever him. So this is the person. Uh, this is the definition of the person who. So this is the real meaning. This is the real meaning. Oh. This is the, if you want the reward, it's for this yes. person. <laughs> this is the now the meaning, the actual meaning of what. To the do. meaning. Um, if if you want, uh, uh, if you have a family who are uh, who are mistreating you, basically, or who are not cooperating with you, uh, then how would you, how should how, how would you deal with them? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in one occasion, a man came to him and said, "Ya Rasulullah." I have such a family who, 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 whom I cooperate with and they cut me off. I cooperate with and they cut me off. And I'm kind towards them and they are, they, they, they are bad towards me. They ill-treat me. They, they maltreat me. They mistreat me. And then he said, and I'm clement towards them, clement towards them and they are rude towards me. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, nice. if what you're saying is right, is true, then uh, is, it is like you are feeding them the hot ashes. كَأَنَّمَا تُسِفُّهُمْ الْمَلْءِ The hot ashes. And then he said, وَلَا زَالُ مَعَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ ظَهِيرٌ عَلَيْهِمْ And Allah Ta'ala will protect you, will help you, will guide you from their harm. As long as you are doing this. So keep doing this. Allah I just want to conclude with uh, practical applications of how we now can uh, uh, maintain the bonds of kinship. Exactly. Can you give us some advice? I will go through it very quick, inshallah ta'ala. First of all, try to uh, tie the bonds of kinship with those who are very close to you. Uh, begin with your wife, your uh, parents, and then your close rel uh, relatives, like your uncle and your aunt and your grandfather and grandmother and so on and so forth. Begin with them. 
Also, also remember the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always before you do that. Allah ta'ala will reward you, Allah ta'ala will, 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 will support you, will help you. And it's better than doing the voluntary prayer and voluntary zakah and voluntary siyam. Uh, also, uh, allocate a time to contact them. Allocate a time to contact them. Maybe once a month or once every week just to call them. You know, we have a uh, telephone. It's very easy method to, to contact them over the phone, inshallah ta'ala. And once you contact them, tell them that you are calling them to tie the bones of kinship. Because they might, you might call them today and they will take it. Okay, he's calling us. But then you call after a month, they will say, what's wrong with him? He keeps calling us. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them that you are trying to tie the bones of kinship. This will... This will encourage them to call you back. Allah. Uh, by telling them that you got, you, you tie, you're trying to tie the bones of kinship, that will encourage them to call you back and will remove all, his, uh, all the suspect from their hearts. Jazakallah. Inshallah khair. ta'ala. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. Uh, we'd love to continue talking <laughs> about this topic, but unfortunately we've run out of time. And this is such an important topic in, in manners that is applicable in this life, as we have stated in the show, that the reward will be hastened for you in this life and that you will enter heaven, inshallah, with ease. May Allah make us from those who uh, maintain family ties and bonds of kinship. And I'd like to thank our viewers and especially our Thank esteemed uh, guest, Sheikh Saeed. And please join us next time on The Excellence of Manners. And Jazakum Allah Khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fortunate is he. Fortunate is he. Who remembers Allah abundantly. Worldly distractions can at mildly sway. His thoughts of Allah and judgment day. Righteous is he. Righteous is he. Who bows to one he cannot see. Whose deeds do not spring without Bismillah Fulfilling his tasks with perfect taqwa <laughs>